How to Train Your Dragon just turned 20 years old. I can't believe it. I, I began writing How to Train Your Dragon. This is the very first edition of How to Train Your Dragon over 25 years ago. Amazingly, started writing it because I just had a baby. And there's a moment when you've just had a baby, when you look in the back of the car and you think they're going to let me out of hospital with a baby. And so you start finding out about babies and looking back to your own childhood. And um, and and I started looking back to my own, you know, so it really could be how to train your baby, <laughs> this book. Uh, um, I started looking back to my own childhood and I grew up in London in a house without a garden, but my dad was this mad keen bird watcher. So every year from when I was a baby we would be dropped off on this uninhabited island off the west coast of Scotland, an island so small that when you, you know, stood on the top of it you could see sea all around you. And there was nothing on that island, no houses, no Tesco's, no mobile phones. This is the Isle of Burr in How to Train a Dragon. So the island in the story is a real island and the father in the story is a, is a real father, my father. Um, and I suppose Hiccup is kind of me. But it's very nostalgic looking back and seeing this book um, because I remember, you know, I never, I never thought that this book was going to be, you know, so successful or or made into movies and television. And you know, if you could have told me 20, 20 years ago when this was finally published that um, that was going to happen, I wouldn't have, be have believed it.